What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another unboxing video on my channel Kings TCG. And today we have a very special item, the 2005 collectible tin of Panther Warrior. This is a very high value item, very hard to get. I'm very happy that I've could purchased it. Before I start, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button if you like the content. And um, maybe you see that the factory seal is already off, but I did that because I've purchased it from somebody at home. And because this uh, item has such a high value, I will check if everything what's, uh, what's supposed to be inside is inside. So that was the case. Um, let's check the back. So you can see what's in. Collectible tin collect all six tin with six exclusive cards. Each collectible tin includes one Dark Beginnings one booster pack, one Dark Revolution Volume One booster, one Soul of the Duelist booster, one Rise of Destiny, one Flaming Eternity, and one exclusive card. The exclusive card is of course the Secret Rare Panther Warrior. Let's open the tin. First, the exclusive card, Secret Rare Panther Warrior, very beautiful limited edition card, very nostalgic tin, really really happy that I've could purchase it. Let's go to, on to the boosters, it will be very nice to see a holo in one of these boosters, because I've seen tins where there wasn't a hollow at all in all boosters so that would be nice as you can see five very nostalgic boosters dark revolution flaming eternity first edition rise of destiny first edition soul of the duelist and a dark beginnings one let's save the two first edition for last and start off with Dark Revolution Volume 1, 13 cards per pack. I have to open these packs very secure. All right. Let's see. Sasuke Samurai, Old Vindictive Magician, Malphus the Inferno General. Very cool to see all these old cards. Armor X. Pandemonium Watch Bear, Magical Marionette, and a rare Z Metal Tank. Here's a tip card, Token Thanksgiving, Accessors of Dagla, Rod of the Mind's Eye, Non Spellcasting Area, and a Checkmate. Start the first one with a rare. It's not the best, but also not the baddest, so let's move on. Now we move on to the Dark Beginnings one. Maybe you think why is he opening those boosters so careful, but I collect those boosters. Alright, let's 
start off with Nurture the Four Beast, Jinzo number seven, Corrego, Hero Shadow Scout, Kotodama, Mango Rio Ryan. Oh my god! Wow! No, Summon Skull! Oh! Summon Skull! Wow! Summon Skull of Dark Beginnings 1 as a super. This is crazy. Look at this. Very beautiful card. Wow. The tip card. Painful Choice. Lightning Blake. Mask of Weakness. Dragon Capture Char. And a Tornado Wall. Man, I didn't expect to, to pull such, such a nice card as the Summon Skull. Very happy. Wow. Great pull. And this was just the second pack. I said at the beginning of the video I hope to pull one holo. And we already did. And what for holo? Summon Skull. Very, very beautiful. And again, we open it very secure. This is the Soul of the Duelist, 9 cards per pack. Let's see what we can get. Level up. Nobleman Eat a Buck. Cemetery Bomb. Arm Dragon Level 3. And a Super Rare Greed. Alright, nice. Another Holo. Ritual Weapon. Mask Dragon, Malice Doll of the Mice, and the Big Wave, Small Wave. Nice. Second holo out of three packs. Not bad, not bad at all. And now we move on to Flaming Eternity. First edition, nine cards per pack. On the back it says each pack contains 8 commons, 1 rare. Alright. Good Goblin Housekeeping. The Light Hex Sealed Fusion, Hyena, Aba Ushiuni, and a rare cross counter. Space Mambo, Threatening Raw, the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, and a Firebird. Alright, two rares and one super, or uh, two supers. And now we go off to the last one, Rise of Destiny. Let's see what we can get. Start off with a Harpy Girl. Homunculus the Alchemic Being, Mind Haycott, Raging Flame Sprite. Alright, another super tragedy. Eagle Eye, Furin Kazin, Moki Moki King, and a Harpy Lady Tree. So, guys, those were all the packs. Let's see the most special cards. Threatening Raw, Greed, and of course the Summon Skull. So we had two Supers, 
tragedy, greed. Let's put them a little bit more to the right. Summon Skull, Tragedy and Greed and two rares, Z Metal Tank and Cross Counter. Very happy to pull three holos and two rares and especially the Summon Skull. I think that's one of the best you can get out of the set. Dark Beginnings one. Very happy with that one. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next for opening or maybe a deck profile. And y'all know it, join the gang.